three-year-old Chinese representative, number one seed IWGA gold medalist in both 2001 and 2005, going for victory, Daniel Sanchez. Danny Sanchez introduced to the crowd, the Catalan, 43 years old, the current world number one. And 55-year-old Italy's representative, number three seed, defending gold medal champion from IWGA Cali Games 2015, Marco Zanetti. And the defending World Games champion, the world number three, Marco Zanetti, as we get ready. We get ready for... The lag which will decide who goes first. Pretty close this one. Looks like Sanchez has won. The lag, his cue ball, the white ball closest to that bulk cushion. As you see in three cushion bullet billiards, unlike pool or snooker, no pockets on this table, which is 10 foot long. And five foot wide. So approximately three metres by one and a half metres dimensions of the table. Sanchez with the opening shot. Hits the object ball first and scores a point. You saw there hitting the object ball, the red ball, and then hitting the yellow ball. Sanchez will have the white ball throughout this contest. And Zanetti, the yellow. It's first to 40 points. And they're on the 42nd shot clock. As you can see in the background, you can see that clock ticking down. They have three timeouts, if you like. Sanchez trying to make it two, and he succeeds. So this, the first inning. Sanchez keeps going until his run stops. It's a run of two so far. So he's just putting on an extension on the cue. Give him a bit more length to reach this shot. First to 40 points. Of two cushions already. There's the third. And a fourth, but just misses the red. So Sanchez with an opening run of two. Which brings Zanetti to the table for the first time in this final. The Italian, 55 years old. As you can see, striking the yellow ball. That's his cue ball. Plenty of right-hand side used on this shot. I think he's done it. He has. Excellent shot. You can see that yellow ball, his cue ball still spinning. Been a bit unlucky with the his cue ball landing flush against the cushion. At least the other cue ball, the white ball, is against the cushion. That makes the shot slightly easier. Less room for the yellow to miss it. Makes a bit of a bigger target when it's closer to a cushion. That has just missed. So one for Zanetti. And he trails 2-1 at the end of the first inning. No easy task for 
Sanchez here with a good deal of distance between the cue ball and the other two. Plenty of pace, and he's a lot of luck seeing as he's kissed the red. That's not worked out, so scoreless inning for Sanchez. And a chance for Zanetti to go into the lead. Looking good. So Zanetti on level terms. Now can he forge ahead? Having a bit of think about this one. Can't think for too long with the 40 second shot clock. He could ask for the clock to be stopped, which he can do three times during the match. Two. He's made it. <laughs> These two have met several times down the years. The last time I can see was in Lausanne. Last December, where Sanchez won 40 points to 26 in 24 innings. Quite a good indicator of the quality of play is the average, simply dividing the number of points by the number of innings and Anything two or above is very, very good indeed. Not quite get there, it will. Another one to Zanetti. Goes into a 4-2 lead. A run of three here in his first round victory over Konstantinos Kokoris of Greece. Zanetti put together a run of 13. These tables are very quick. So the likelihood is it will get there and it does again. Part of the reason for them being so quick is that they are heated. Might have seen earlier a cover over the table just to keep the heat in. But very quick cloth. Some of the shots you'll see attempted. Cue ball going up and down the table four or five times. No problem with pace here. Is it quite got the right line? Looks good. So a run of five for the blue-eyed Italian. He's into a 6-2 lead. We have an interval when the score, one of the players reaches 20, five minutes interval, and then it's back on in the race to 40. If Sanchez was to reach 41st, he went first, then Zanetti has a chance to level what's called the equalising inning. But Zanetti making 
a fast start to this final. This is looking very good again. Twice world champion Zanetti, 2002 and 2008. And the defending World Games champion, he actually took bronze four years previously. And Kao Xiong in Chinese Taipei. See that huge amount of check side. He's done it again. If you haven't seen three cushion billiards before, you can probably appreciate already the, the great skill involved in this game. If you want an idea, go down to your local pool hall or billiard hall where they have these pocketless tables and try it yourself. It is far from easy to hit one. Zanetti is on a run of seven. Very thin cut on the object ball. He's getting close, but just missing. So Zanetti breaks down at seven. A very good run there from the Italian, and he leads. 8-2 after two innings. Sanchez won't be too perturbed. He's seen it all before. Won his first round match against David Tonahan of Poland. 40 points to nine in just 14 innings. An average of 2.86. Incredible average. Going round the table a couple of times. It looks to be offline, though. He might just get there. Might just get there. Oh, just short from Sanchez. Zanetti's back at the table very quickly. Now, those two balls close together, he may... Well, sometimes you see them going cushions first before striking the two balls. Just missed there. Was trying to get those three cushions using that corner. Didn't quite work. So say sometimes you see when the, the two object balls, if you like, are close together, see them trying to go after three cushions first and then hit the two balls. Zanetti didn't try at that time. Now can Sanchez get back into the match? Just kisses that yellow. Good. As I said earlier, it's slightly. Oh, no, it's not. It's just missed out. It is slightly easier when one of the object balls is near a cushion. It means if you miss it one side, you might hit it on the way back. Sanchez has missed out there. I think he would have expected to score at least another point there. running through to hit the red. Going into a 9-3 lead.
bit of a bit of a puzzle to increase that lead on this visit. Going to be sending this yellow right around the table. Hopefully avoiding. He's avoided the double kiss. Has he gone round the back? He has. See if that red had been slightly nearer the cushion. The chances of going round the back of it would have been decreased. So it's 9-3 after four innings. Sanchez trying to see a way of hitting both. This is far from easy. That's an excellent shot. You saw the first cushion was before hitting the first ball and then two cushions after that before hitting the second ball. Now, can he get going in this match? He had a run of two in the opening inning, but nothing better since. Get that one right. Trying to use the corner, but obviously very unpredictable bounce from the corners of these tables. Sanchez one and done in that inning. Now what can Zanetti do? Plenty of top spin in this shot. It's <coughs> good. Just flicks off it. See a bit of anguish on his face as that yellow ball rolls on, making the next shot more difficult. to avoid the double kiss. He's got past the white, looking good. Oh, it's just missed by a whisker. <coughs> I thought he was just going to clip the red there. Like Sanchez, Zanetti only able to score one on that run. Now I can see Sanchez going cushions first. Looks like he's going off the three cushions, then hopefully the yellow, then the red. He's gone in between though. Sanchez, zero. So things not quite going. Danny Sanchez's way at the start of this World Games final. First to 40 points. He trails Marco Zanetti 10 points to four. And now Zanetti trying to go cushions first, three cushions before hopefully hitting the red and the white. He's done it. Incredible knowledge of the angles and knowledge of what the ball will do when spins imparted on it. You can see 
He was aiming in a completely direct, different direction to the other two balls. Plenty of right-hand side to make it go where he wanted. And he got the desired result. Looks like he's trying something similar this time. See, plenty of left-hand side this time. That's a brilliant shot again from Zanetti. Takes him into a 12-4 lead. In this, the sixth inning of this match. See him digging down, trying to get some backspin into the cue ball, into his yellow cue ball. Didn't quite get there. The red hitting the cue ball. See the frustration there. But he's in good shape, the Italian. 12-4 ahead after six innings. Sanchez, of course, more than capable of putting a big run together to close that gap. Would it go round the back? just goes round the back of the yellow. That shot looked pretty good right until the end. Zanetti back at the table. Again, a bit of left-hand side on the cue ball. That just missing. Zero. Only a matter of time, surely, before Sanchez gets going in this final. Scored just four points in the opening seven innings. And he takes one good inning to turn it all around. Power and screw. It's not going to run their back again, has he? No, he's got the contact this time. He'll fancy his chances here. Always a bit easier when you're a bit closer to one of the two object balls. In this case, the yellow. Zanetti's cue ball. Matches his best run of this final. He's got the yellow into a nearer corner, which is often a help. Lots of topspin, sending the white up and down the table. Hopefully hitting the yellow at some point. Or a cross in that case. He's been successful. A run of three now.
applying that chalk to the Q-tip. And again, you always need plenty of chalk to, to get that spin. Chalk there improves the contact between the Q-tip and the ball. Plenty of pace again. As long as the yellow stays away, he might be all right. No, he's just missed again. So a run of three for Sanchez, his best of the match so far. But he still trails 7-12 in this World Games three-cushion billiard final. Plenty of names for this sport. You've heard it called Carom Billiards, Carom Three Cushion, or just Three Cushion, or Carambol, or Carambole, depending on which part of the world you are. Zanetti again trying to go cushions first before hitting the other two balls. And he's done it again. It's the third time he's done that today. Looks to have brought his A game to this final. Zanetti. It's looking pretty good too. Two. Average 2.0 in his opener, 2.22 in his quarter-final win over Pedro Piedra Buena of the United States, and then average 1.74 in his semi-final win over the number two seed Dick Jaspers of the Netherlands. So he's been playing pretty well all week, the Italian. He's got the pace and he's got the line. Three. He's already had a run of seven in this match. In the second inning. There he is asking for the shot clock to be stopped. Actually asking for his cue ball to be cleaned so he won't have a Timeout taken from his three. If you've seen pool or snooker in particular before, see the cue ball cleaned regularly. The last thing you want is what's known as a kick, what is a bad contact between the cue ball and the object ball, and you often see the cue ball. Just jump in the air. Plenty of fans, young and old, in the Centennial Hall in Roslaf Congress Centre to watch this three-cushion final. Zanetti puts another point on the board. The way the balls are placed, he'd be pretty hopeful of getting at least one more on the board. Lots of right-hand side. He's not sure he's done it. He goes back to his seat. He knows it's not going to hit. Oh, it has hit. I think that surprised him. He walked away thinking he'd missed it. <laughs> a bit of a smile. 
from Zanetti. The run continues. It's up to five now. <laughs> Raise of the eyebrows. All Sanchez can do is sit there and watch. Quite interesting, some of the earlier rounds when there was action going on in the other tables, you'd often see the, the billiards players looking away, watching the action on the nine ball tables rather than watch their opponent play. Plenty of pace. And he's just kissed the red. Taking the run up to six. He looks set to take a commanding lead into the mid-session interval. We have a break when one of the players reaches 20 points and Zanetti just two away. Played some excellent stuff in this first half. He's offline there. Well, he needs some luck. No, he won't get it. So that's the end of the run at six. He's had a seven in this match as well. So good scoring from Zanetti. And he leads 18 7 after eight innings. And again, he hasn't left anything easy for Sanchez, who's going cushions first. Managed to hit the yellow full in the face, so no cannon. Sanchez's fifth scoreless inning of this match. Now Zanetti, we've seen him have some success going cushions first for hitting the two balls. I wonder if we'll see him try that again. He's having a long think about this one. No, let's be playing this with plenty of bottom. Not to be a screw back shot, but he looks to be going cushion first, unless he's playing some sort of masse swerve shot. That's a brilliant shot. I'd love to see a replay of that. Great improvisation from Zanetti. Needs one more to take us into half time, if you like. Just missed the contact. So Sanchez gets another chance. for the break. Can he get something going? Had his best run in the eighth. Just three though, and he needs something a bit bigger if he's going to get back into this match. That looks a good start though. Going two cushions first, then the red here. He is, and it's worked. Very fine shot.
I suppose unlike pool or snooker, only thinking one shot at a time here. Pool or snooker, you're always thinking about the next shot and then the shot after that, but this game it's so hard just to make a point. Sanchez on a run of three again here. Crowd transfixed by this action here. It's three cushion billiards final. It's been Zanetti producing the fireworks so far. But can Sanchez get back into this? Plenty of top on the cue ball here. And side. Sanchez, three. He's missed that by a good distance. So three in that run for Sanchez leaves him 10-19 down to the Italian. Stun that across and off the top cushion, the bulk cushion. He's got another point, so we will have a break after this with Zanetti reaching 20. Bit of a malfunction with the scoreboard, but I can assure you he is 20 points to 10 in front. He'll be hoping for at least a couple more before the interval. I think he's got another one here. He has. He won't be too upset with the way the balls are placed. Could be another one on here. Sending this yellow around the table. Looks pretty happy with it. He is desperately unlucky not to hit that. So that's the end of the run and the end of the first half. Marco Zanetti leading by 21 points to 10. Players go off. Five minutes before the resumption. Sanchez going first with the white ball. Zanetti, the yellow ball. And it's Zanetti who has had much the better. The opening exchanges. He leads 21-10 after 10 innings. An average of 2.1 for the Italian. Sanchez only averaging one. Seeing some of the highlights of that first session. See the huge amounts of check side there. Making that yellow rebound at an angle you wouldn't expect. So much spin on the cue ball, you can see it twice rebounding different angles.
Cincinnati definitely on top in this match. As reflected in scoreline, he leads 21-10 in this World Games final. Seeking to retain his crown, the Italian. See that yellow ball continuing to revolve. Seen some wonderful shots from Zanetti already in this match. This one here would be quite a conventional shot, but he's played a couple where he's had to come off three cushions first before hitting both balls. Zanetti choosing to watch his opponent at the table. Here's one of those where he went cushions first before hitting the other two balls. And again. This was Sanchez. I think just going round the back for yellow. No, nope, just managed to score a point on that one. He has had a couple of near misses. The Catalan. why he trails 10 points to 21 at the midway stage of this World Games final. Sanchez seeking his third World Games title, won the gold medal in 2001 and 2005. 2001 was when billiard sports or Q sports were introduced to the World Games in Akita, Japan. In both of those finals, Sanchez beating Dick Jaspers, the Netherlands. The Dutchman losing out in the bronze medal playoff to Sami Sidholm of Egypt yesterday. <coughs> now, Sanchez, as you can see the balls exactly as they were before the interval, he's going cushions first, but unable to score a point. So this is the start of the 11th inning. And a scoreless one for Sanchez. Early chance for Zanetti to increase his lead. Didn't want that white to contact. White hitting the red, but he still might have got the point. He has. <laughs> Apologises to Sanchez. Bit of luck going his way there for the Italian. It's the hand up. An apology. A 
as the cliche goes, you make your own luck. Zanetti has been the better player so far. Plenty of check side. But I don't think that's quite going to hit. So the break, the run ends at one. Normally you'd expect him to score a point here, but there is some pressure on Sanchez now. 12 points behind. He's gone into the corner, but that's fine. Forty-three years old, Sanchez, the current world number one at three cushion billiards. That looks pretty good. Ooh. Always nice when one of the two balls you need to hit is close to a cushion. No chance of going round the back of that one. Here, the yellow ball in the corner. Just gives you a bit more room to work with. So he's sending it round across the table. And making the point. Sorry, he didn't make the point. So the run ends at two. Still 10 points behind. Cue ball is not in a bad position. The white ball, I should say, for Zanetti. Got the point. One. Are we pleased that white ball has stayed near the corner? Makes this shot a bit easier, very similar to the previous shot. Using the corner, just missing. Thought he might send that the yellow round the table as he did in the previous shot, but went the other way. Just missed out. Still with a healthy, healthy advantage though, 23-12 ahead after 12 innings. How's this looking? It's looking good. One. Sanchez. <laughs> Just a few signs that the world number one is finding his range a bit. Plenty of pace, several round, times round the table. Ooh. And he's just made the contact. <laughs> Heart in mouth stuff there. 
must have thought for a split second it might go round the back again. But you'd think the yellow in a good position here. Be very unlucky to get round the back of that yellow. Takes the run to three. And now the red's near the opposite corner. Off the left-hand side of the yellow. Standard shot this. makes the contact so his best run of the match now and he needed it up to four the red remains in the corner may go Thought he might go cushion first, perhaps, but see where he's going. I think he might be going across the table. Just misses. So his best run of this final, but he's still seven behind. Sinetti having a good walk around the table and a think about this one. Lots of top spin. I think he's got it as well. One. The top spin just making the cue ball follow through. Striking on the right hand side of his yellow cue ball. Quite enough. So just one for Zanetti there. Leads by 24 points to 16 in this first to 40 World Games three cushion billiards final. See Sanchez striking on the right hand side of his white cue ball. Gets an unfortunate double kiss. He could get lucky here. He could get lucky if it keeps going. He has a real slice of good fortune there for Danny Sanchez. Can he take advantage? Zanetti doesn't look too impressed by that. Not what Sanchez intended. Plenty of pace. <laughs> Having a bit of a joke with Zanetti as gets another point, another apology from Sanchez and Zanetti. Takes it quite phlegmatically. Sanchez starting to make inroads into that lead. Sanchez was 
say Zanetti was 22-10 ahead at the interval. That lead now down to six. Make that five. Three. Sanchez on a run of three. He's had more than his fair share of good luck in this run. Can he keep it going? Four. He can. The yellow is near the side cushion. The red's not too far away from the bottom cushion on your screen, so. Opportunities here for Sanchez to close that gap even further. Just four points behind now. Gone round the back of it. He has another run of four for Sanchez. Consecutive runs of four. Those his best in the match. Leaving him four behind. This the middle of the 14th inning. Zanetti coming to the table. It's going to be a fair bit of pace on this shot. Digging down. Zero. Hit it after just one cushion. So no score for Zanetti there. A rare scoreless inning for the Italian in this match. Just his third of the contest. That lead down to just four points after a slow start. Sanchez is off and running. One. He's in again in his 15th inning. needed to stretch For his initial thought on the shot just having a rethink going red ball first instead went cushion first that's looking pretty good Huge transformation in this match, as he asks for his cue ball to be cleaned. Just two points behind now, that scoreboard a little slow to update. Ball is clean. Go hit 
both of those cushions before hitting the red, and he is successful. <laughs> Taking the run to three. As you can see now, just one point behind. Having been 12 points behind at one stage. Just missing this time. So a run of three for Sanchez. Can Zanetti get back on track? He's lost his way slightly after the interval. Just three points in four innings after the break. Just gets the kiss there. Red in the corner makes this shot slightly easier. Need a degree in geometry to work out some of these angles. Is that going to get there? I think it is. Let's judge that one to perfection. Zanetti now three points ahead. That's looking very good. Three. So after a bit of a slow start after the interval, Zanetti seems to have got going again. Caught in two minds on this shot. Looked like he was going to get down quickly and go red first. But now just having a little think. See that shot clock running down. 40 second shot clock in operation. So deep screw, side. Masse, if you want to call it. Needs to avoid that contact. He's got it. This is an excellent shot. <laughs> Party tricks coming out here. Just when the Italian needed it as well. Sanchez had closed to within a point. Zanetti now on a run of four. He's willing it to hit that white ball. Five. And hit it, it does. So for the third time in the match. 
Zanetti on a run of five or greater. He had a seven in the second inning, a six in the eighth inning. What can he do in this 15th inning of the match? Delicate shot this time. Looks to have the line and the length. So he's up to six and into a seven point lead. Leading 30 points to 23. 10 points away from victory. 10 points away from retaining his World Games crown. He's got another one. So up to a run of seven, equaling his best of the match. Excellent response from the Italian. Sanchez to come out after the interval much the stronger. But Zanetti now putting together a big run here. Looks like he's got another one. Another wonderfully judged shot from the Italian takes the run to eight. Just missing this time. So Zanetti with that run of eight. Leads by 32 points to 23 after 15 innings. Sanchez needs a decent run quickly now. This match could be over. He's missed. That could be a vital miss in this match. Trailing by nine points. Very thin cut on the red. Just missing out though. So that Sanchez miss has not proved costly. Sanchez hasn't put any great runs together in this competition so far. His best run is seven in his semi-final win over Egypt's Sami Sidhom. Sidhom, who took the bronze medal yesterday. That's looking good, though. Zanetti's best run of the competition is 13 which he had in his first round win over Konstantinos Kokoris so 
looks like another one here for Sanchez. And he needs this. I feel he needs at least a run of five or six to give him some hope here. Makes it three. He's played really well after the interval, Sanchez. But it still might not be enough. He has reduced a deficit to six points. Called timeout from the referee there, so that shot clock won't matter on this occasion. Forty second shot clock. Sanchez needing a bit more thinking time as we get to the business end of this final. Takes the run up to four. Leaving him five behind. It's one of the loneliest places in sport. Q Sports. Sanchez calls for another timeout. Saying it's one of the loneliest places in sport when your opponent's at the table and there's nothing you can do about it. Particularly pool and snooker, but the same applies in billiards. Just have to sit and suffer and hope you get another opportunity. Lovely shot there from Sanchez. Taking his run to five, best of the match, just when he needed it most. He needs to keep going here. Give him a chance of his third World Games gold medal. Six. Up to six. Now just three behind. He did close to within one in the 15th inning, but then Zanetti produced the best run of the match. An eight to go nine in front. Fair bit of distance between the cue ball and the object balls here. Bit of a disturbance in the crowd. Called another timeout. So that's all three gone. But this is a vital run. If he could get level or even in front, boost his chances no end. Just missed there, though. So a run of six. It's good, but it may not be good enough. OK, 
Canzanetti gets started in this 17th inning. Plenty of screw inside and it works. Came through a thriller against Dick Jaspers in the semi-finals. 40 points to 36. This one could be a nail-biter too. Zanetti's turn to call timeout for the first time. Bit more thinking time required for the Italian. Plenty of screw inside. It's just missed. So just the one for Zanetti there. Leads 33 points to 29. Sanchez back at the table. He's got the yellow near the cushion, the red not too far away from the cushion. So a good chance to get started here for the man from Catalonia. One. Now just three behind. This could be the most important inning of the match. Most important inning of this World Games three cushion billiard competition. Danny Sanchez, the twice champion back in 2001 and 2005. Now just two points behind Marco Zanetti, the defending World Games champion. Just one behind. Sanchez has really turned it on after the interval. He trailed 21-10. Now he's just one point behind. That's an excellent shot to get on level terms. Taking the run to four. In this 18th inning. Scored just four points in his first seven innings. Took a while to get going. Plenty of check side there, but it's just missed. 
Oh. It's just missed. So Zanetti comes to the table with the scores level in this 18th inning. He has had a run of eight in this match. He's had another run of seven. A repeat of that would win him gold. Thinking long and hard over this shot. Hasn't called for a timeout yet. 40 second shot clock in operation. Just misses there. So, really bad time for a scoreless inning for Marco Zanetti. It's 33 points apiece. Just shows you how this game can change. Zanetti cruising before the interval. Apart from the 15th, 15th inning where Zanetti had a run of eight, the best of the match. He's had a pretty hard time. Zero. He did hit the two balls, but only two cushions in between. So, a reprieve for Zanetti. Quickly back at the table. In this World Games men's billiards final, three cushion billiards final. It's going off a couple of cushions first. Maybe three cushions because he'll be using that corner, maybe. He went one cushion, then the red, and then tried to go off two before hitting the white. He was unable to do so. It was a very difficult shot. No easy starter for Sanchez here either. At the start of the 20th inning. Still got a chance. He's got it. Hand raised in apology. Meant to hit it first time. It came back, hit it second time round, and Sanchez into the lead for the first time since the very first inning. of pace again and success it's a run of two just five away from the 40 point barrier now we are playing equalizing innings so if Sanchez gets to 40 first Zanetti does have the chance to equalize Looking good from Sanchez. Takes the run to three.
He's really found his range now. As Sanchez taking the run to four. Sanchez has found his game when he needed it most. Now leads 38 points to 33, just two away. Red is right in the corner. And looks like another one for Sanchez. <laughs> Producing his best form of the match, his best form of the competition, right at the vital moment. And he gets to 40 on this visit, on this run. He's gone cushion first, but he's missed and Zanetti gets a chance. Balls could have been nicer positioned for him more nicely for him but got to play it as it lies Could have done without that contact there. That's a bad break for Zanetti. Sanchez now on the point of victory. After 20 innings, he leads by 39 points to 33. Plenty of side spin there. Looking good, looking very good. So, Sanchez reaches the 40 point mark. Zanetti gets an equalizing inning. So what happens here is the balls are replaced in their original position. And Zanetti gets one chance. So Zanetti needs a run of seven here. To take this match into an extra inning. And he's missed. And that's it. Daniel Sanchez wins his third World Games gold medal. The Spaniard salutes the crowd. He started slowly, but roared back after the interval, trailed 21-10.
at the interval after 10 innings. Steady accumulation of points after the interval. He went back into the lead. Danny Sanchez, the 43-year-old Spaniard, now the three-time World Games gold medalist.